Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, here to bring you a little tip for the range. Today, talking about press checks with your rifle. What is a press check? Ultimately, we're taking our rifle out of battery in order to inspect the chamber, verifying either it's loaded or it's unloaded. Generally, don't really care for this practice because of its likelihood of inducing a malfunction, but if we are gonna do it, let's do it the right way. To perform my press check, I'm gonna go ahead and anchor my rifle into the crook of my arm. I'm gonna take my firing hand, my right hand, and with control, I'm gonna move the bolt back out of battery. Holding it like this gives me, I find, the most control over pulling the charging handle back. So I'm not gonna accidentally pull it too far, toss around out on the ground. Just trying to check the chamber right now, make sure I have a round in there. At this point, I can feel over here, I feel my bolt carrier. In front of that, I feel my bolt. In front of that, I feel brass. If for whatever reason, you come over here, you feel your bolt, don't feel brass, pull it back a little bit further till you feel brass. Given light, can take a little peek, see the brass, you're good to go. At this point, we want to make sure it goes back into battery. The way we're going to do that is by letting go of the charging handle. That way we know it's going to go back into battery. If you try and ride it home slowly, you will induce a malfunction. As I understand it, when the Army first wanted to field M16s, they wanted, part of the contract, was to be able to manually put the bolt forward. So M1 Grand, M14, you have the charging handle, which you can push forward, making sure it's in battery. So on the M16s, right here, you had a forward assist. Basically, this little arm that reaches in and notched along the side of the bolt, you have all these little notches. What that does, push the forward assist, grabs one of the notches, pushes forward, essentially inching the bolt forward, making it go back into battery. Like this, I don't have forward assist. Some uppers still have them. If you do have one and you are doing a press check, added value, you can just mash that, mash it a couple times, make sure your bolt is in fact all the way seated and in battery. As I mentioned, not a fan of the press check because it can induce a malfunction. If you get sand or grit in your buffer tube, a bunch of carbon on your bolt, your spring might not be strong enough to slam that bolt home back into battery. You're gonna have a malfunction. But I'm also a pragmatist and I recognize you might not always have an opportunity to download your rifle and load it deliberately to ensure that it is loaded, in which case you may need to do a press check. Six one way, half dozen the other. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.